This is an $11 drone battery, which means it's basically the 99 cents menu increase, meaning you can get it for very cheap, but is it gonna leave you fulfilled eating that greasy double cheeseburger? Well, we're gonna try to address that today and see if we can create a drone that will match this $11 battery to give you that juicy feeling that you might get from a delicious dollar menu McChicken set. This is gonna do that by using a special motor prop and weight combination combination that we haven't been able to do yet with all new components. Is it going to give you that delicious taste or is it going to have you in the bathroom regretting that dollar menu choice when you should have just ate a salad? You know, a lot of us that race on Freedom Spec occasionally have a whole heap of these really cheap 3S batteries, but I've been wanting to try to find the solution to be able to fly faster. We're going to see if this thing is actually faster than a Freedom Spec quad with this 3S battery, and I have a feeling that it might. John here, guys, and this is the Pickleback Racer, a collaboration between the Pickle Frame Designers and Darren Over Everything Micro. This is meant to be the lightest possible racing style five inch that you can get, and this has HD zero. And tonight we're gonna be trying the new HD Zero Nano V2 camera. This also has this special 3D printed camera protective holder for that Nano 2 camera made by Ryan Cube, the HD Zero tester. And how does that work? Because isn't that for the switchback? Well, that's why this is the pickleback. This uses all of the switchback pro prints and we're going to see if you can make an HD Zero 5 inch that's lighter than just about any other five inch racing machine out there. And can it use these $11 Freedom Spec batteries and be faster than a Freedom Spec quad? Today's video is brought to you by Major League Drone Racing, the future of live sports entertainment. Drone racing turns flying drones into a competitive sport. Major League Drone Racing. So you can use all the same switchback prints. You can see here I have the switchback fin, the switchback antenna holder, and this is the lightest possible setup you can get. This has the Foxier Reaper in here, the 25 by 25 all-in-one, and this is the HD Zero 1S video transmitter and that's going to get you the lightest possible configuration for HD Zero racing that you can get. This comes in at 207 grams. Now how did I get so light? That's because this is Foxier's Datura motor, the 2105.5 and it's 2950 kV. We're going to try this on 3S, 4S, 5S and if it doesn't explode maybe we'll even try it all the way up on 6S and go all the way up. Now this tiny motor has an M3 shaft but it has a little spacer in there that allows you to use M5 full-size props and that's what this is doing. Let's take this on the track here at the world famous Houston night spot and see how it performs. Here is this pickle racing machine. This is the top plate that's meant to fit the HD Zero Racing VTX. This was cut at CNC Madness. Thanks to Darren over at Everything Micro for getting me his creation. First thing that I noticed is it's very thick. So it's kind of a similar formula to the new thing that Emacs just made that Hawk 5 Apex. And the cool thing about it is that it uses all the same 3D prints as the 533 Switchback. Darren did an awesome job with this design along with the Pickle team. In the end though, it's just a little bit too light for my taste. The speed is actually not a problem. When you're going really, really fast, it actually is easy to adjust for that altitude management, that height management. You wanna stay low so you can go through the gates but on sharp turns, I have a tendency to pop up a little bit too much because of its light weight. Golly, I'm having a bitch of a time keeping it on the ground. For me, the best combination was one of these very cheap 3S Freedom Spec batteries. They're only like $11. So this has really been exciting to me because it's faster than Freedom Spec. I can reuse some of these cheap batteries in which I have a lot of them. And when I just want to get some packs, keep the weight very light, keep the overall cost very low. Uh, something like this would do. I think Freedom Spec though in general, the traditional formula is probably gonna be a little bit better racing practice overall because there's more races set up for that format. But if you did want something very light, you could adjust to all of those things that I mentioned having issues with over time. I'm not gonna put too much more time on this formula because I don't wanna mess up my muscle memory because I'm gonna be flying regular Freedom Spec and regular success. This was really, really fun, a really cool experiment. The lightest five inch HD zero build that I've seen out there yet. What do you think guys? Do you like 
flying ultralight type things like this. This is actually five inch, pretty nice speed. I think on 6S, it would be blazingly fast, maybe faster than your regular average 6S, but if you go those speeds, I'm not sure if everything's gonna hold up. It might, it might. But then again, like it's not like the regular Switchback Pro is the most durable frame on the market. It's not meant to be, it's meant to be fast, it's meant to be light and still pretty strong but it's not as strong as like the open racer that i typically fly so i'm really comparing more to that ultimate durability standpoint than something like an ultralight so when a lot of people start flying they really want the lowest price overall solution and when you need multiple batteries and they end up banged up like this whenever you crash an 11 dollar price point is really attractive we'll have links for all the stuff below the pickleback racing frame is a really cool option if you needed to be able to practice in areas where you need to be as quiet as possible this ultra light very quiet setup is great for park flying practice or you could transplant this entire power setup the foxier reaper the foxier motors the hd 01s system on something like this this is foxier's aura long range very lightweight freestyle long range frame it has enough space to where you could top mount a battery and put a little action camera like the Runcam Thumb Pro at the front right there. You can use this same component list and get away with this ultimately cheap battery. These actually also make really excellent goggle batteries. So I've been using this for my Orca goggles, my Skyzone goggles, DJI goggles. They have a really nice capacity and for the money, they're just super cheap. I've been wanting that solution that I could reuse these Freedom Spec batteries of which I have a ton of to actually do some park flying, some light racing. When everyone else is flying Freedom Spec and you don't want to waste your 6S batteries, being able to rip this thing around at faster speeds than everyone else is pretty fun. My major league drone racing stay tuned for the first inaugural season and also check out the merch store where you can buy some of your favorite team's merch now get a jersey with your favorite pilot's name on the back to wear to your next event or just out to a fancy dinner date night there we go that's the pickleback Yes, man! <laughs> <laughs> this gate, go, go, short strip. Get through this gate this way. 